There have been numerous accidents within the construction industry where quick hitches have not been used correctly. These accidents have in some cases led to fatalities, usually as a result of incorrectly fitting of the bucket of the quick hitch or failing to insert the safety pin. The construction industry has agreed to a voluntary phasing out of the semi-automatic type, but it will be some time before they're no longer found on some sites. Carries have been proactive in changing all our excavators above 7 tons to the fully automatic type and have selected the Hills Auto Lock Quick Hitch. Manually operated quick hitches are used below 7 tons on all excavators owned by Carries. Semi-automatic quick hitches are banned from all carry sites and this includes any equipment owned or hiding by our SUM subcontractors. It's imperative that the excavator operator ensures that there are no personnel within 3 meters of the excavator, whilst the bucket or attachment is fitted or removed from the quick hitch. This is to ensure a safe zone is created around the excavator until the bucket or attachment has been satisfactorily connected and tested. The safety mechanism can be clearly seen on the screen by the two protruding orange tabs. These tabs can be seen by the operator. In order to attach a bucket, you must first move the dipper arm into the vertical position and fully crowd the coupler. The bucket release switch is then operated and the warning buzzer will sound in the operator's cab. This will pressurize the system and allow the hook to withdraw into the open position. As the hook open, the two orange tabs are withdrawn into the coupler and disappear out of view. The coupler is then ready to be connected to a bucket or attachment. The fixture of the coupler is positioned over the front pin of the bucket and engaged. The coupler is then crowded into the position shown on the screen. The bucket release switches and turned off, which also turns off the warning buzzer. This activates the safety mechanism and the bucket is moved to the position. When the hook is fully engaged, the rear pin of the bucket, the two orange tabs, will be clearly visible again from the operator's cab and will be protruding from the coupler. It is essential before the bucket or attachment is used that the connection between the coupler and bucket is fully checked and tested. It is the excavator operator's responsibility to check there is no one present within 3 meters of the testing point. If anyone approaches the excavator during this procedure, the operator must stop immediately and must not restart until they're outside the exclusion zone. The bucket is then positioned on the floor as shown. The test comprises of trying to force the dipper arm and coupler away from the attachment. The full force of the excavator is used during the test. To remove the bucket, the dipper arm must be in the vertical position, crowd the coupler, and then operate the bucket release. The warning buzzer will now sound inside the cab. This activates the safety mechanism and the hook is withdrawn. The hook is fully withdrawn when the two orange tabs have disappeared into the coupler and can no longer be seen. The bucket or attachment is then positioned on the floor as shown and the coupler is rotated clear of the rear pin. Slide the coupler clear at the front pin and move the dipper arm clear of the bucket. If you have any questions or concerns, then please immediately contact your project manager.